dementia residents can think back to the past, be in the present, then not remember just what happened. So to assist, one needs to work with the strengths and work around the weaknesses. So take past memory still intact to strengthen that. Photograph albums, photo boards, life history books, good discussions on the good old days and the happy times, all these things help strengthen and activate past memory. Now, take being in the present. For that, one also has to be in the present moment oneself to be able to assist the dementia resident with presence if they're roller coasting on emotions. So a good way to go about this is get into observation mode. There's plenty to observe in a dementia unit and it brings you into presence effectively and capably. And it's, it's so good on a number of levels actually. The first thing is that it helps orientate actually both yourself and the dementia resident. Because even if you're a medical person or have been, there's still a lot of nuances and new information that you need to know about the unit. Every unit's different, all the residents are different, the staff are different. They may be doing diff you know, the similar roles to what you've been used to if you're a prior nurse or a present nurse or carer, but still there's a lot to learn. But if, though you haven't been working in the medical industry be before, there really is an enormous amount to learn. And the best way to absorb the information and to know what's going on and to see, learn and update and upskill is to observe. So the best thing, once your uh, relative has entered the unit, admission phase is over, you've filled out all the forms, the room set up, all the practical efforts are over in that regard, sit down with your relative in the lounge and observe. Observe who the residents are, who the staff are, the doctor, the nurses, the carers, who your primary carer of your relative is, the shifts, when the shifts have changed over time, who are the various staff on each shift, who's the main day carer for your relative, the main afternoon carer for your relative, the five days a week when they're on. Learn all these things, but firstly observe. As you observe, you'll be able to pick up the bulk of it. And also I've written these two books all about this, Residence Voice in particular and Residence Rise. Specifically, I've written about these things just so that you can learn a lot of it through reading and through observing. Same thing, in the room, sit with your relative and enjoy the view. Hopefully there is a view, something going on, at least a tree to look at with all the butterflies and birds or whatever can happen around a tree. So get involved in that because dementia residents are very good at observing. They're very good. People with dementia are very good at observing and very good at being in the present moment because past recent memory is dysfunctional. You know, memory is dysfunctional. So most of the time they spend in the present moment as a result. So if you just come into their space and be present as well with them, that means that you'll be in tune with them. They're more likely to be relaxed, at ease with you and hopefully communicate. And at the same time, as you're observing and orientating yourself, you will be orientating the person now to be living in a dementia unit. A very important process. Orientation is so important because they really need orientation for many, many reasons, which I've gone into in other videos, especially being able to find their room, which takes a lot of orientation on many different levels. So orientation to the room and also walking around the corridors, do, you know, lots of laps, corridor laps, and uh, where the res other residents' rooms are, where they're living, what's happening in this lounge, what's happening in that lounge, where the TV is, you know, where there's a little spot for being able to rest and relax, hopefully. Maybe there's a veranda going out onto the veranda, seeing the view from that. Hopefully you can see the hills and at least the sunshine and birds from there. Or there might be an outside walking area. Fantastic. Best thing. Hopefully it's got some trees and seats and umbrellas and nice things out there. You can spend a lot of time out there enjoying 
you know, being in the moment and the, the feeling the sun on the shoulders and all the rest of it. And, you know, time slows down. When you're present and with someone that has dementia and because they're slower, of course, with, with their cognition and their responses and you need to become the same to tune in with them, it's good. Time slows down <laughs> and it's actually, it is definitely relaxing. You know, people can't imagine that you could be relaxed in a dementia unit, but absolutely you can be if you become present and everyone benefits from that. When you're present, then you're light, you're easy, you're relaxed, you're humorous. All the good stuff comes out when you're present. So this is how we can help ourselves as well as the dementia resident. So this presence and being present is especially important when the person is admitted because that's when the roller coaster of emotions tends to happen or especially on admission immediately and you know often up to a good eight weeks after admission. So both for the relative and for the person being admitted it takes a lot of restraint and a lot of discipline to harness your emotions and keep them in check throughout that time. And it's really important because if the relative starts roller coasting or getting emotional, justified, yes, but practically not helpful. Because if you start escalating up into anxiety or plummeting into depression yourself, then your relative has lost the support line because it's very difficult to support someone effectively when you're in an emotional state. So that's why you really need to be strict and firm on yourself, to be practical, to be present, to be positive, you know, to do all these things so that then you'll be in a good position to be able to support your relative who will so need it going into the dementia unit. And also it's a strengthening process for yourself. So again, I've written up at length, Residence Voice, Residence Rise, everything on Amazon. Thank you for your viewing and likes. Please subscribe. Thank you.